So today I'm going to be doing a screen replacement for the Asus VivoBook. Um, this one is the X510U. So first of all, the problem that we basically have is there's a bunch of dead pixels on the screen and it is not in very good shape. So the first thing we are going to have to do is take off this screen guard right here. So the first thing to take a look at is there are these two little, little crevices on the side here and there are basically screws underneath. So the first step is to basically just take a little pair of pliers or anything that you can find and just peel off these little stickers. So it basically should peel off pretty nicely. If you have a thin pair of pliers like these, it makes the job a lot easier. So I would definitely recommend something like that. And you can basically just keep poking and eventually they should come right off. Okay, so now that we have those off, now there are a couple Phillips screw heads right in there. All right, so I found the right screwdriver. I have this really tiny one. It is just a star or a Phillips. So now we can start with just slowly undoing these. They take a little bit of pressure at the start, but then they are fairly easy. Again, it may be a little difficult to find a screwdriver that's small enough, so you may need a specialty tool, like one for fixing glasses or or whatnot. Okay, so now that we have those screws out, we are basically going to take a prying tool. Um, and there are two different colors. There's two different, basically, materials. Um, and we are just going to pry them apart. So if there's a lot of these little plastic tools that can be found online for very cheap. And we are just going to get it in there and then go around the edges. And it should basically snap. Now I'm just gonna use another one of these metal tools. Can make the job a little bit easier. Okay, so here we are again. So the hardest part that I found was at the bottom where you go through the bottom of the bar here. Um, it feels very unsure. I felt like I was gonna break it at first, but I found just putting my fingers in the bottom here or using the pry tool. Um, and basically once you pry it out enough, the plastic is quite strong. Um, so it doesn't seem like it will be a problem there. And then the bottom does mostly come out and you'll see a small little gap at the bottom here. So if you just put a pry tool into here, you should be able to pull the screen out without too much hassle. You'll see a little portion at the bottom there. So again, it seems to be a little bit hard to just pull it out on its own, but if you can take a tool or something like this, you can put it in there and then if you pull enough, it should come out. And there you go. So there is our first step with the front cover off. So now that's the majority of the work in the project. So now we just have a few screws to undo.
Okay, so now if we lift our screen, it should come right off and we can drop it down here. So that looks good. Okay, so now this right here is the wire connecting it. Okay, so now at this stage it does get a little small. But basically, there's a little piece of tape over a little connector here. So our first step is just going to be undoing the tape. So we are just going to use our little tweezers here to undo that. Okay, so now that we have that, we are just going to gently unplug it. Okay, so now we can get rid of our old broken screen. We can put it over there. And then we are just going to grab our new screen. So we are going to take a look at it so it should look pretty well exactly the same on the back so now we get to the intricate portion where we are just going to try and align this as best we can So we are just going to try and get that close to the hole and then just give it a good press to make sure it is in there securely. And that's also a handy part of the tape is we can just pull on that a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to put it back up and we are going to see if what we've been doing so far is working and beautiful okay so everything looks good no screen tearing no pixels okay it looks beautiful so now we are just going to turn it off and also make sure you, you take the plastic off the screen sorry i did that in an earlier take place it in line and then we just have to put these screws back together Okay, so now most of the job is done, and all we need to do is put the plastic back together. So now because of these little pointy parts, it can be a little difficult to get this back in. Um, what you may want to do is to pry back this again until you can really fit it underneath. black hinges which are the hardest part so just make sure that you pry the plastic back and just push get the that underneath make sure don't do the screws in too tight until you have all four. and get everything aligned again we can start top to bottom making sure things click into place Pressing this bar back in. So now most of it should just kind of snap into place. You may want to put some pressure on the bottom of it.
Okay, so now we have three. We're just going to do the last one. And yes, and now we can just place our last little screws and then the job should be done. So now I'm just going to plug it in again and power it up and make sure everything still looks good. And now there we go. So pixels all look to be in good shape and it looks to be as good as new. Okay, so thank you for watching and have